to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel thank you so much if you are new to stylish niger youtube channel if you have not subscribed already i would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button and then also hit on the bell to get an update whenever i upload a new video you can also follow me on all of my social media platform at facebook instagram pinterest all at stylish niger okay so now let's get started so today i'm going to be showing you how to do this design i actually don't know what it is called it's just a design i saw it i liked it and so i decided to add it to my dress so and i then i decided to share it with you guys for those people that would want to add it on any of their designs so that's what we are going to be doing today so i'm just going to I'm going to name it an elegant and flamboyant fabric manipulation oh, obviously it is fabric manipulation design on my corset so i'm going to add it to my corset blouse so that's what we are going to be doing it's really simple so if you find this video helpful i will appreciate if you hit on the like button so let's get started on the measurement that i'm going to use so these materials that i'm going to use this is dull face satin so this is left over from the satin i actually used so for this you can just even half or half yard should be enough for this kind of design or one yard you can just buy one yard to be on the safe side so this is my doll face and then i'm going to be using hair stay i like using hair stay a lot and then i have medium gum stay so these are the materials that i'm going to use so the next thing i'm going to show you how we are going to measure the, the design okay so you could see my corset isn't she beautiful so for those of you that don't know how to sew a corset you can watch my free youtube videos on how to sew a corset i have about three or four videos on youtube and then if you want to register for online class of how to sew a corset to know how to sew it more detail you can register just send me a message from the number that is scrolling through the screen on this video okay so now let's get started for the measurement i'm going to start measuring from this point that's like the under bust point so the the design actually came like this and then it is staying on top of this point like this so for this part i'm going to be using about 14 inches i'll just do it 14 inches during the manipulation and the fixing if it is too long i'll reduce it so i'll use 14 inches that's for the length and then for the depth that's the width if you see the picture it is covering almost like the chest part so for this part i'm going to use about seven inches so seven inches so we're going to use 14 inches width and then seven inches the 14 inches is for the longer one the second one i'm going to make the second one 11 inches so let's just get started okay so the measurements that we're using the length we're using 14 inches that's for the longer one the short one is 11 and then the width we are using seven inches so these are the measurements that we are making use of so the next thing now i'll fold i folded my fabric into two i'm going to measure to see if i have so i have 14 inches i have about 16 inches which is okay the next thing i'm just going to try and shape my sleeve that's i'm just trying to create like a shape so i'm not not particular um measurement on that part i'm just trying to create like a a square like triangle so on this side so i'm going to cut to have the shape on this part like this so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to measure the width so the width for the width i'm using seven inches so i'm going to add allowance to it i'm going to add as much as three inches so i'm going to have 10 because i'm going to sew and turn so i don't want it to get my fabric to get truncated i'm going to make mark 10 inches on this part like this so this part i'm going to blend a little bit i will do both of them together so the next thing i'm going to do for the down part i'm just going to use I'm going to use about 5 inches or 6 inches because you know that part I'm going to fold, bring it together like this. So I use about 5 and a half inches so I will get my 
shape nicely so from this part like this i'm just going to blend it into into those parts like this so i'll cut out the first one and check it so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to blend the edges i don't want them to be too i don't want it sharp So I was actually trying to check it like this. So I think I like I like what I see. I like the width. I like everything. So after sewing and stitching, it's going to reduce a little bit, but you see, it's going to cover up the corset on one part nicely. So I think I like it. Okay, so I like the design. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut out another one that I'm going to use to line this. And then we're going to cut out the front piece also. So for the front piece, what I'm just going to do, I'm still going to replicate this. The only thing I'm just going to reduce the length a little bit. And then there's something I notice. You notice that the front one looks a little bit wider than the back. So I'm still going to use this width. But for the back one, I'm going to reduce it a little bit. So I'll cut out another one. I'm going to cut out four pieces of this now. And then before we do the truncating of the back piece okay so i finished cutting out of my piece so if you notice you see i almost cut all of them the same so what i'm going to do i'm going to finish ironing all of my hair stay and my gum stay on them before i reduce that's the one of the front before i reduce the width that's the length of the front piece so i just choose to do it that way if you want to cut it because i have excess fabric really so i'm going to cut Gum stay for these two while cut hair stay on these two and then I'll go ahead and go and iron them together and then come back and show you Okay, so I finished ironing all of my pieces So you can see so this is the fabric because I'm using both fabrics for both, both satin So this is the one that I used the medium gum stay on so what I'm going to do now just take them back to my sewing machine and then I will sew them. So I'll sew them on the wrong side and then like this. I'll sew them round and then I'll turn it and then we'll come back and try and fix it on the corset. Okay, so I finished teaching them. I finished joining them together rather. Okay, I'm just trying to get my my needle and my thread because that's what I was going to use to try to manipulate them so this is the one I'm going to use for the back so I have not trimmed out any piece yet I just want to put them together so this is the part that has the hair stay that's the side I'm going to put in the front so I'm just going to place them like this I just use my eyes just to eyeball it and make sure that I like what i have so i'm going to start fixing them but what i'm going to do if i say let me fix them both of them so you see the way it is looking if i'm to fix them together like this it might be very bulky and difficult for me so i'm going to do them one at a time so i'm going to do the back one first so i'll, re I'll and then i will do the second one on top So I'm going to start fixing it like this. So I'll just use my needle and my thread. I'll start from the inside. So for this, I think you can actually fix it however you choose to fix it on your dress.
So I'm just going to keep tacking it until I'm done. Okay, so you can see I'm done with the first one. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach this one to those parts. So you can determine how wide you actually want it to be. That's the difference. So I'm just going to take this one now. So this one now, I'm going to fuse it to the first one. I'm just going to use my needle and my thread. So you're going to do it neatly, so the thread is not rough. So I'm just going to keep Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how it is looking like. So I finish tacking every piece of it together and then this part where I have my cuts, I just used an applique to cover it up. So you can decide to hand stitch your applique to cover up this rough part or you could decide to use a gum to gum it in. So it depends on what you really want for your center and piece design. So thank you so much. You see, it is looking so beautiful. If you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did. So thank you so much. And then I will see you in my next video. God bless you. Have a blessed day.